go out, have in mind what you're going for, and when you're looking for, well, we'll say bread, think who will have bread, who will be getting rid of bread, and then go to those places. Because if you want bread, and you go to, let's say, a dairy, you're probably not going to find any bread. Think logically about what you want and where would have it and where might be getting rid of it and the reasons that they might be getting rid of it. The Whole Foods dumpster was really good. You could get a lot of like natural foods, like any kind of stuff they have at Whole Foods, but uh, it was that was kind of heavily watched and you'd have to be careful like when you went there you'd have to be kind of quick we're after bread currently and uh we've gone to the source we're gone to a bakery not anyone in particular but here we go Oh my god, it even smells good. Do you guys leave it out here so that people can can just have access to it? Well, we don't usually do that. What we do is, uh, I'm not exactly sure when it is, but um, they give it to shelters like once or twice a week. And um, they know that people come back here and take it and you know, when they trained me, they told me that it really wasn't a big deal, like, not to stop anybody because it kind of no gets rid of the bread for us, and, you know, if it goes to a good cause, then that's fine. All right. What do you think about um, businesses that lock up their dumpsters? If it's a food business and they're just, like, throwing away food that could be used for something else, then I think it's stupid. I think that it's, uh, it's number one, it's wasteful, and number two, it's, you know, preventing people who are hungry from getting food that they need, you know, and charging high prices for it, which is something that's, I don't, I don't agree with at all. That guy was really cool, and hopefully you'll run into lots of people like him. Got anything to say? Yeah, security was really tight there. I think we better jet. <laughs> Alright, this is a fence that stands between me and hummus. Unfortunately, there's a weakness in the defenses found here. Barbed wire. Okay, the man. Can you see how we get in? Something like that, I imagine. Yep. These are past date, which doesn't always mean bad things, but these are starting to bulge. If you look at the package, you can see that it's, it's pushed out, both on the sides and here on the top. Because, of its, because it's bulging, you know some sort of breakdown in the product is happening. So we're going to leave these behind, although they're not very far past date, they're still probably not good. Plus, they stink. Dumpstering in teams works really well when you have situations like this, where there's a fence. And if you want to get stuff over in an easy manner, two people can do it a lot easier. And we're done. What did we get? We got an hummus. assortment of hummus products. Mexi falafel hummus pocket. Lemon hummus. Sun dried tomato hummus. hummus. Black olive hummus. See, they throw stuff away because something else spills on it and gets it all dirty. But everything inside is perfectly clean and it isn't even expired yet. And 
hummus. Cool beans. Yeah, literally. Garbanzo beans, carrots, lemon juice, canola oil. Another one of those. Is there a date on it? Yeah, it's expired on 9 12. Hey, that's today. That's today. today. I bet it's still good. I bet that one's still good. That's the hummus. Are you and tofu egg salad. No, we got rid of those. We and threw away the bulging salad. hummus. <laughs> This all expires in about a week. All set. All set. All set. Cool. This is a very interesting situation, which they left it unlocked. Now, with this lock that someone left on it, some people would argue that it's best to take that lock with you, because some people would argue that no one should lock up their trash and hindering them from doing so makes them less likely to actually bother. Others would argue that if you take their lock, then they're gonna get sketched out and lock it even tighter. Green onions. Okay, so when you dumpster food, it's really important that you question why it is they threw it away. Now if it's expired food, you know why they threw it away. They threw it away because the food's expired, but usually it's a sell-by date. Because it's sell-by, you know that you can still eat it if you do that whole making sure it smells good. Vegan food doesn't go bad very easily because there's no eggs, dairy, or meat to go rotten and kill you. But sometimes they throw things away because they're dirty on the outside because something else in the package is spilt on it. So that's a good way to get food. Um, Basically, you just have to, you have to understand why someone's throwing something away. The outside gets all fucked up, so they throw it all away. All you gotta do is wash it off, and it's perfectly edible inside. They're cat cookies. See, they throw stuff like this away because they use it as samples. Yeah, this It's used as a sample, and then they throw the rest away. So by November 7th. This is where it's at. Jeez. Open though. Mm. There's open. Packed on 821. Used by 1010. Here, how does it smell? Not bad. Alright. What do you got there? Uh. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Usually, if you find something good, it's in bulk. Bagels with tofu, cream cheese. Bagel, bagel. <laughs> cream cheese, but not tofu. -di. Come on, <laughs> tofu. -di. Tofu. -di. Oh, does anyone here eat cream cheese? Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty picky. It's so easy to find good stuff like pineapple. What do you have there? Pineapple? Nice yeah. wrapped pineapple. Yeah, wrapped pineapple. Sweet. Look at that. I don't eat iceberg lettuce, but that's not all iceberg. Never, ever, ever eat stuff while you're dumpstering before you wash your hands. Because you'll be eating these wonderful Fritos and you'll be like, why does this taste like shit five minutes later? You have to spit a lot and it sucks and it tastes horrible. It's because you're eating dumpster juice. It's kind of gross. Especially if there's blood on your hands. What sort of things could you do to prepare yourself for that situation if you're hungry and you're out dumpstering? I guess if you were smart, you'd wear gloves while you're dumpstering. Or you'd bring water with you and wash your hands off. We got some apples, a little beaten up. Got a lot of worms in them. When you find them like this, what you can do is put them in a bowl of water. Uh -huh. And then the bugs crawl out of the fruit. Cool and then if you care about the bugs, you can just keep an eye and scoop them up from time to time. Cool. It was like a two-person high dumpster and yeah. they would be filled with boxes and boxes of like it would be tomatoes. One night it would be like all tomatoes, more than you could fit in your carload or 
avocados or just like any kind of produce you know, could imagine. It was usually like mostly one thing and then some of the other. Those look good. Yeah, they do. Um, oh. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Ceram wrap for our protection. Does anyone here up peel up to make a lemonade? These lemons smell good. They're I zesty. Know. They looked really pretty in my fridge, but I didn't. Let's see what else is in here. This is the bounty from just one dumpster. So what was the coolest thing you ever dumpstered there? Oh man. Uh, oh yeah, Kalamata olives, the barrels that are like this big. <laughs> we found two of those. <laughs> that was really cool. Good deal. Yeah. To all my friends and me, this is life, this is liberty. Down by the dying spring, she flows and brings me everything. Who I know. She's in terminal decline But she Still cares for me just fine Not too much to run a thin I take my cup and dip it in What do they have in there? In this particular dumpster at Fred Meyer, they have Dollar Tree shopping carts. <laughs> Those fuckers. <laughs>